one of the most commonly used rule of integration is power rule that we will study in this video and it has been uh, used in a different way in differentiation where it was known as the power rule of differentiation definitely it should be opposite of what we have done there because def differentiation and integration they are opposite of each other but precisely speaking we have to observe that what are the uh, differences and similarities in these two formulas now our focus is on the integration of a certain function but its power should not be equal to minus one because if it is equal to minus one power rule will not be applicable why it will not be applicable we will also see this just in a while once if we get clear about the formula in the formula the power is represented by n so if x raised to the power n is to be integrated its answer would be the ratio of the terms that is x raised to the power n plus 1. So we have added 1 in the given power of the function and the sum of the power and 1 is divided with this term and c will appear as a constant of integration. Now if this is the formula n cannot be equal to minus 1 because it will make this undefined which definitely is of uh, least economic meaningfulness for our analysis so this is why we assume that um, n is not equal to minus 1 that is we cannot apply the power rule on this situation it will be reversed it will be written like this and we will have another r rule for it so the parametric stipulation is now in this series of steps explained why it cannot be equal to minus 1 because if we put minus 1 here and here wherever n is uh, this can be accepted but uh, 0 in the denominator with something definitely in the numerator will give rise to infinity which is of uh, no meaningfulness in most of the situation in our economic analysis so let's do a numerical example where uh, n is not equal to minus 1 something that can be solved using the power rule so x cube is something we want to integrate here on both sides we have integrated here we have dy here we have dx and we do the uh, integration uh, when we do this x plus 3 uh, x raised to the power 3 plus 1 and the new power divided we get this answer which is very easy we just have to solve this and we get the answer by using this formula now we want to plot this and for that we assume that c is equal to 1 it will create ease for us because we have definitized it and we can plot it on some graph so the graph will be visible now this is the graph and clearly it can uh, it can be understood that it's a cubic function and has a cubic uh, shape of the curve that is there are two wiggles this is the first wiggle and this is the second wiggle so there are two wiggles in it and here we have the uh, uh, result of the integration where we have assumed that c is equal to 1 and that is why its intersection at y axis is equal is at 1 and it has this shape which is showing that it is a function with degree 4 so its degree was 3 before integration and now it became 4 so this is integration this is how it affects the given situation now the power rule and constant function rule are linked in a way that we have seen bef uh, we have felt before but now we will actually see it one can use power rule to derive the constant function rule how we can derive the constant function rule by using the power rule assuming the standard form of the constant function you know this is the standard form of constant function where the power of the variable is equal to zero now uh, let us assume that a is equal to one when we do so it becomes this and you can see that x raised to the power zero is still there because it means 1 and in product it doesn't affect the result integrating it with respect to x on the right hand side and uh, when we do this we apply the power rule and you can see we are adding 1 in the power and that expression is divi getting divided with the uh, variable part 
and we get x raised to the power 1 and 1 in the denominator which can be written like this so you can c match it with the other video that we had about the constant function rule and you can see we have developed the constant function rule and this is due to the power rule because power rule is actually working in the background of the uh, constant function rule because in constant function x power 0 is there and when we apply the power rule it becomes this and this helps us to understand that how the constant function rule is developed that the integration of 1 is x. Thank you.